Hey guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing Ride 5. We are going to be tackling the Italian 250cc two-stroke championship within Ride 5. Now I have skipped all of the qualifying sessions and so we'll be starting each and every race at the back of the grid against the 120% difficulty AI with the behaviour set too aggressive and as you can see already quite aggressive into turn 1 and we are also going aggressive into turn 1 for San Donato up into 5th. Not quite, not yet, so we're still down in 6th position, but we're now going to retake that 5th spot. He might have the inside line here, so I probably need to give a bit of space, but it looks like being aggressive is paying off against the other AI opponents. Now, I think we're all on the Aprilias here as we try and go up on the inside into Matarasi. Not able to make it stick there, but with the position we're in now, we might. Yes, we do. Get the change direction into Borgo San Lorenzo. And actually ahead of us is a Yamaha, so we're not all on Aprilia's. I thought we were all on Italian bikes, but uh, not quite. So into Castanon getting squoze out onto the outside of the circuit there. As this is the Magello short version, we're not turning left into Castanon and Savelli. We're just going to go right. And unfortunately, Zaline Pande pushed us a little bit too deep and I lost a lot of time there. So back on to the efforts and grind again and of course guys speaking oh, oh, oh look at all the riders there piling through as I'm trying to confirm on the brakes but I completely missed time the braking marker either AI went too early there or I just went too late and struggling to get the bike turned in <laughs> never mind about that but uh, fighting through between two riders there there's Milgel De Delgado we're up and uh, fighting now with Elena Panunzi as oh wow we had a terrible upshift there Really lost all momentum, a proper momentum killing upshift from myself there, my mistake. But uh, of course guys, if you are enjoying the content, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It does help out the channel and of course keeps you inundated with lots of Ride 5 content. Look at that, trying to go around the outside in Casanova. It would have worked if we were going into Savelli, but uh, yeah, it's not going to happen when we have turn 7 as the Magello short corner. So now... Opportunity is coming here. We can stay in the slipstream. We should be in a battle for the podium. Can we move into... Yes, we've got double slipstream there. Ahead of Milget and Miguel and ahead of Elena. Oh, just trying to hold on to the position. They seem a lot quicker than the uh, the player here in 120% difficulty. They seem to be much quicker than what we are right now. But here into the left-hand side for Luco. Johan Kloppers and Sandro Almeida Pereira is leading the way. Getting squoze between two Aprilias here. Look, you'd think we're all teammates here, but we're absolutely not. Everything has got uh, glory in this particular championship. But I must remind you that it is a championship. We're going to be doing three races here today. Each of them being five lap races. All in Italian track. So this is a pretty special event with the Aprilia RS250. So now into Casanova. We're closing in quite rapidly now to the Brazilian. Nice tight apex. Can we sneak up on the inside? I certainly thought about it. But look at the drive! Is that the Yamaha? That might be either the Yamaha or the Honda, but it's, it's rapid on the drive there. We do get past Sandro Almeida Pereira. And we go into San Donato with a lot of confidence here. Breaking in. We have the lead, but for how much longer? I think the Italian crowd are enjoying this one. Hope you guys are too, of course. And with a quick change of direction into Luca for turn two. We've run it deep. Is that going to cost us a small bit of a wheelie there as well? Got on the approach to Poggio Secco third corner turn four is rapidly approaching we're losing time to the AI but I don't think they can get through and to be honest with you this final part is where we're really strong we could pull out half a second gap by the time we cross the line it's all about the slipstream on the run down into turn one do we have enough to keep them at bay Sandro in second Miguel Delgado in third it's Brazil versus Spain versus England here in Italy can we hold on? Four tenths of a second. It's three and a half tenths now. Could be overtaken by going into turn one. And we're going to have to be last of the late breakers. Pretty good into the breaking zone of San Donato, to be fair. That defensive line for turn one. There is Miguel. You see that helmet with his name on it. He's desperate to get on through. He wants the victory here in Magello. Is he lining me up? Oh, he's thinking about it. The AI getting quite intelligent here. Really pushing me to the maximum now. We'll go into Matarasi with a five tenths of a second advantage. I think that's it. I don't think they can. I don't think they can contend with that. Wow, let's say that too many times fast. And now into Casanova for the right hand side. I think we've done this one. This will be the 25 point victory that we were looking for. Oh, a bit wide. Surprised no penalty was given. Well, it's all done and dusted now. We might cross the line with a second advantage. Victory goes to the way of us. 
on board the Aprilia RS250 RM and we are top of the championship. Well, Magello as always seems to be quite interesting. I, I do like playing Magello, but more so single player because it's always used online. But anyway, this time it's Monza. And we're going to be starting from the back of the grid, as I made mention to earlier on as well. We're trying to anticipate the rider's movements ahead of us. And I got, I just wheelied there for a second. Very strange moment going into the first start of this race. But wow, we're trying to go around outside of everyone into the very anti Del Retifilo. Into turn two. Oh, more contact made. Oh, there's a lot of fashion, uh, varying bashing in this race. A lot of uh, battles and collisions already to start this Italian GP of Monza. Not a big fan of this circuit, but already it seems to be quite interesting. But into the braking parts here, into the chicane for the left-hand side. A little bit late to think about a lunge onto Elena, so we're not going to go for it there, but quite strong in the acceleration. Could we possibly go around the outside of Manuel? No, oh, it's not Manuel. It is Manuel. It's Miguel. <laughs> oh, done him. I couldn't even get the name right, but we could definitely get the overtake right, and that's all that really mattered. The overtaking around the outside is patented, Dr. Ace, at this stage, and as I completely make a mess. I don't know what it is, but every time we go around the outside, I tend to make a mistake afterwards, and unfortunately, that is right on cue. My mistake. So anyway, back to the action which is unfolding right ahead of us now, into the left-hand side for the Ascari Chicane, into the right-hand side, then back across to the left. Oh, I just cut the corner. I'm not going to, yeah, let, let Miguel take the position because I can't abuse the corner that much. And that's, an, that's a crazy amount of penalty time for something so, so large. That was a... You could probably gain a good couple of tenths of a second for abusing that corner, and yet the, the trade-off is just 62 thousandth of a second of penalty yeah there was no way I was going to continue after that one but we seem to be far superior compared to the AI here the Bridgestone's hanging on well running both soft option front and rear but with Miguel Delgado on the hunt and Elena behind they might have a go into turn one there they are on the left hand side of the screen I'd like to think I'm stronger on the brow oh look at what's happening to Miguel oh Miguel oh it's a disaster Mr. Delgado down into the chicane and into the gravel to end his Grand Prix, which actually would end his championship challenge as well. Such a short three-race sprint championship. You can't lose that many points. I don't know where he's ended up, but he certainly didn't end up on the track. That's a damn shame for the Spaniard. But now it's myself against the Italian Elena Panuz Panunzi. Right. Oh, the old uh, slowdown there with the change of lighting conditions. I hope that gets fixed sooner or later. I did record this during the early access, so again, maybe things have been fixed by now, but I don't know. But uh, I guess we'll find out in real time as we go. But anyway, the lights are on, but there is people home. <laughs> well, it's us. We're racing, and we're 1.5 seconds ahead of the competition in the form of the Italian lady behind in second. But what I do want to see is what happened to Miguel Delgado. No doubt we're going to have to go on a head-to-head -head with him at some point. But we have the bragging right so far. And into the left-hand side, not touching the... Oh, we still managed it. Yeah, I'm struggling with the, uh, the acceleration here, of course. Not taking into account that the bikes do tend to square up when you accelerate now, compared to the likes of uh, Ride 4, where it didn't. But, of course, moving over now to a style which is similar to MotoGP 23, which I much prefer... But it's just easy to get yourself um, sort of lost in the moment and you kind of forget to reduce the throttle or you kind of forget to just turn in earlier. So anyway, this is the long straight. And I do apologise because Monza is a bit of a boring track. So I don't think we're going to have much competition unless I completely mess something up. So I think for this one, it's going to be a case of us just trying to beat our best lap time. So hard on the anchors we'll go. Sliding into turn one. Quick change of direction into turn... Oh, I've not gone down! Whoa! <laughs> oh my goodness! I just completely lost the front there. Wow! I, I barely touched the front brake there. Oh, that went without without warning. Wow. Okay. I said Monza was a little bit boring. I hope you didn't tune out because we've now got a battle on our hands. 1.7 seconds is the gap. To Barunzi, who's leading the way, the Italian lady... And of course, Sandro ahead of us, the Brazilian, is in seconds. So it's a 1.7 second gap. Let's call it two seconds. 
we've got to fight back and regain the top spot here in this Aprilia 250, well, Italian 250cc two-stroke championship. On to the brakes we go then for turn right, for the right turn, which is of course the Lesmo 2. Oh, of course, onto the rumble strips there, lost us a bit of time, but we are closing in rather rapidly on the competition ahead of us. Nine tenths of a second is the gap. I don't know what happened to the Italian lady at the front, but she seems to be having a bit of difficulty. So now into the left of the Ascari left-hander, now into the right for this long winding turn, and back to the left-hand side. We are right on it once again. So this third lap of five will be resulting in a much tighter gap and a much more interesting race than I did think about at the start. So guys, of course, if you're still enjoying the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It does help out the channel. We're not that far away from 9,000 subscribers now, so definitely consider helping me out. And oh, I feared that. <laughs> I feared as I brought on the power there that was going to make contact with the Brazilian. I don't think he's going to be impressed with that one. He might try and outbreak me going into turn one. A bit similar to what Delgado did earlier on. Can't quite keep up with Elena on the straight, but I know we'll last to the late break as style will work. Oh, not quite round the outside. Certainly trying to line up the Othello Aprilia, but Elena's got it covered. Bit of contact there. I don't know why the AI do tend to slow down a lot in the corners. That's why I make a lot of contact with the, rear, uh, with the rides ahead, because I end up bumping them into the rear, either the rear tyre or a bit of the bike. So apologies that if it didn't look so clean. Going into the left-hand side now. This track is getting darker and darker, and the, the, the floodlights don't do the best of job, but we have gone for the lunge. We thought about the lunge, but Elena said no thanks. And now on the acceleration, we have the job done. Can Elena fight back? I don't think she can. But this track is getting really dark, especially around here. Lesmo 1 and 2 are very dark. And it's just uh, approached, what, uh, half past seven? It's very dark here in, uh, in Italy. Just had the rumble strip glitch there. I don't know if you could hear that in your headphones or wherever you're listening to. But I could just hear the rumbling of the curbs, which uh, occurs every now and again within ride five. Elena might have us in the inside line here. I always break there at the 200 meter marker. Tends to go rather well. Very early braking, but it's enough to get this Aprilia stopped and for us to still carry the momentum going into the next couple of corners. Keep on the, uh, the, the tarmac and not touch the green and we're good to go. Now the interesting part is that if this is a drag down to the line, we have to ensure we have 62 thousandth of a second ahead. If we don't have that, then we could get pips on the line. And I definitely don't want that to happen. So with seven tenths. I don't think Elena can do it. I really don't think she can. It's approaching a second advantage now. I don't think they can do it. What an effort, though. We went down in this one into turn one. We won't be doing that again. A little bit of a mistake on my behalf. Oh, two, lost 1.8 seconds as well. AI is really beginning to struggle towards the last stage of this Monza GP. Went into the tight chicane and back to the left-hand side. Beautifully done. Much better time this time around. We're not chucking the bike into the floor. We're not uh, going into the kitty litter. And we're not scroking our leathers by scratching them across the floor. Elena and Sandra behind us are having a good old ding-dong of a battle. Fair play to the two behind us, but they are no match for us right now. 120% difficulty AI aren't an issue for us. Oh my god, <laughs> I've gone wide. I'm going to try and slow down. I don't want to get penalty. I'll even let them through if we need to, but I think we're good. No penalty was given. Not my cleanest, of, smoothest of races, this one. Strange, really, because it's gone really dark. In my review, I wasn't particularly happy with the way the lights sort of looked in the early access. I, I never felt that it really got that dark, but now, a bit of brightness tweak, and it's really dark. And I like it a lot. That's how it should be. It should be difficult. So I'm happy that uh, we've had a night race. I don't know what the next race is going to be like. Of course, in another Italian circuit, this time around, it'll be Imola. So, of course, stick around for that. As we now go into the final couple of corners and now to the left hand side, we'll have one more corner to go in this race. This will give us at least a 10 point championship lead. I think Elena finished second in the previous race, so if, if it did, we should have a 10 point advantage to the Italian behind us. But now into the breaking parts of the Parabolica section. Gentle on the acceleration, just gradually bring on the power and get yourself across the line because we are victorious yet again here 
in ride five. Across the line, and it is victory by at least 1.7 seconds. Well, the championship standings are even better. We're leading by 19 points ahead of Elena. This one should be relatively easy in Imola. So here we go then, from the back of the grid, can we complete the hat-trick of races in today's video? Three Italian circuits, three times starting from the back of the grid, but can the third time yield another victory on board the Aprilia? And what I will say is if anyone's not tried this Aprilia yet, then definitely give it a chance because it is fantastic. Really nice to use, it's good on the brakes, it's maneuverability is fantastic, I'm just very much enjoying this particular championship showdown with the riders in this career mode so we have a couple of riders ahead of us we are now going to try Ooh, who's that going wide they're onto the grass don't try and rejoin the circuit there good lord was that elena <laughs> oh man what a ridiculous re-entry to the circuit that was absolutely foolish she clattered into the competition there Ridiculous. Absolutely insane. Well, speaking of insane, look at that for breaking. Aggressive move up on the inside of Zalim. Almost took his shoe with helmet off. Goodness me. But he's going to be strong around the outside. Is he strong enough to get me on the brakes? No, but... Oh, oh, oh. I thought about a lunge going up on the inside of Johan Kloppers, but uh, yeah, it didn't quite materialise. I do like a good overtake. It. Whoa, look at the speed on the Yamaha. Nicely done, but I'm going to go strong on the brakes and hopefully... Regain the position that we try. Oh, beautiful, beautiful move up on the inside. Yes, I know we went a little bit wide there. Well, that was a clean overtake. Waited for the moment to just swing it in, and we got the move done, and we're going late on the brakes again. Chucking that left Alpine Stars boot out to slow down the Aprilia. Oh, steady. Don't want to get caught onto the rumble strip on the outside of the circuit. This one here is not too bad, but into Rivarza in general is not a great spot to be uh, swinging the bike onto the rumble strip. So anyway, straightening the bike up. Couple of Brazilians in there. Someone's just been sent to the distance. Thank goodness that bike disappeared. If that bike didn't ghost then, I think we would have been clattered into. So quite fortunate that time around. We have the Brazilian fighting with... Oh, that's a scary moment for the Italian. And now he's going to cut me up in the corner. I, I love carrying that corner speed in that corner there, but I wasn't able to do it with Massetti getting in that position. Now into the left-hand side. And I do want that change of direction overtake. Something similar to what Stefano Manzi did this year. But I'm not able to do so. And uh, for anyone wondering about electronics that I'm using, I did forget to show you in the video. So there it is in the bottom right corner of your screen. ABS is off, TCS is off, anti wheelie 1, and engine brake is on 4. But fighting back against the Italian. We now have a chance and a half to attack the Brazilian in the form of Sandro Pereira. Can we get close enough by, hmm, let's say, to the chicane in a moment? Could very well. We're on lap two of five, so there's plenty of time left to go in this one. There's no panic for a specific overtake, but you better believe my eyes are on the prize of getting three Grand Prix victories in a row. And now into the change direction. Quick change again. Ah, oh, it was just a little bit too slow for me to go for that overtake, so never mind. It is what it is. Let's uh, get back to fighting with the boys at the front. Now into the left-hand side. Let's start breaking in quite casually. Don't really want to go for a lunge there. It's a difficult corner to get right, and I, I can't say I've got the confidence to make a lunge into Rivazza at this stage. If it was a last corner lunge, last lap dash, then yeah, you better believe I'd go for it, but at this stage, it's really not necessary. So bring on the power. Avoid the cones there. Lord almighty, we were really close to the cones. So the Honda is rapid on the straight, but we are also very... Very fast, but can we be better on the brakes? Oh, we're trying to get it stopped. We do get it stopped. Nicely done. Precision. Precision overtake. Beautiful. Really like that one. It's not often I go for a, a straight overtake like that. I do... Oh! Getting bumped from behind. I do much prefer the stylish approach. Going around the outside, or maybe hard on the anchors going up the inside of a rider. But fair play to Sandro. The Brazilian's not giving it up. And I, no way! The AI! It, oh, it went round the outside on me! The 120% difficulty AI. Sandro Almeida Pereira has done me over. For the first time, I've had the AI go round the outside of me. I can't believe that. 
I don't know if I'll be making a YouTube short and that. Usually the shorts are there to make me look better, not the AI. <laughs> what a move, though. I, I can't even be mad at that. Well done. Bravo to the Brazilian ahead. That was impressive. Fair play. I'm going to have to try and get him back, though. Do him over. Do one better as we now go into the change direction. Can we change a direction? It's stunning. Beautifully done. That's what I was looking for in the previous lap, but it just couldn't quite get the angle. But look at Sandro. He's back at it again. Does someone want to tell him that the championship's done and dusted where he stands? Oh, wow. He's losing on the front there, getting a bit out of shape. But Sandro, at this stage of the Grand Prix, he's doing well. We're going to start the penultimate lap in a moment. But Sandro across the line, he might be leading. Trying to go around the outside here. I don't think we'll have the lead. Is he? No, he's not. We will have the lead. I thought he might get the better of me into that straight, but he isn't able to. Our two championship rivals are down there in 14th and 16th. No issue from the riders to behind. But a quick change of direction. I probably should have downshifted to first gear there. That wasn't the right decision, but... Ah! <laughs> More contact. I do find the collisions in Ride 5 are a little bit larger than I expect. So, whoa, my lord! Zalim Pandi has now taken over the front. I got bumped from the rear. And all that messing around has caused us to lose some positions. But yeah, I was mentioning with the collision detection in Ride 5, it seems that it feels and looks like you can make it through without making contact. But for some reason, there's still a small amount of contact. And look at the drive from the Honda. From 5th to first, it might have been fourth to fifth, uh, fourth to first, apologies. The uh, the Brazilian is certainly doing well. And apologies for the voice in this one, I'm struggling a bit today. My, uh, my asthma's quite bad, so I can't really give it everything I've got <laughs> in the uh, in the commentary. But I'm trying, you know me, always do my best. So I'm bringing on the power. I'm not going to be close enough to do any of those overtakes this time, unless I'm going to go really late on the brakes. And it's not me materializing is it whoa caught cool. wow what happened there sandro with the cortex like this went really slow there for a second i don't know what's caused him to do that but it bunched us all up together so it's honda versus yamaha versus aprilia into the left hand side for rivatsa someone's gonna have to make it through is it gonna be down to this oh, i'm glad this this video is ending in such a uh, intense way the monza grand prix was boring but this one <laughs> This is what I was looking for. Make it interesting. There goes the limb. There goes the Indian. He's now up into the top spot. We're trying to carry as much possible speed as we can into the braking zone for turn one. Not that confident on the brakes. I'm not going to try and lunge anything here into Tamburello corner. Into the right and then back across into the left. Go to the tight apex. Not quite as tight as I would have wanted. We caught ourselves on the rumble strip, but I think it's down to us three. we slightly pulled away a little bit, but not enough to really cause any issues for us into the right for the Villeneuve corner two riders ahead one of these can be only one of us can be victorious ah, I'm going a bit wide there after making contact Whoa, good strong acceleration was what we required there that's annoying that the AI made that mistake so I was really looking forward to getting pushed to the end of this Grand Prix but the number 77 is going to yield the position going into Piratella how long can we hold it for oh, getting caught on the curbs there ever so slightly this is when we pull the, the trigger. We have pulled the pin. Can we? Oh, two tenths of a second up improvement. This is when it matters the most. Sandro's back up into second. He's not going to be a happy finishing second place to me in this one. Onto the brakes we go and then into the right hander. Back into the left for turn 15. Not close enough. Well, I think we've done this one. That Fausto Grassini corner is really the one that made the difference one second quicker yeah I'll take this what a, what a race I've really enjoyed this one really have that was a great battle I would have taken a lot more laps you know would have really taken more laps in this one that was really fun it's just a shame that AI struggled on that last part there going into uh, into Tosa but hey it is what it is so guys we've done it we'll win the championship on this one we've absolutely dominated here in Imola and I very much enjoyed that one. So guys and gals, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. 
Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dr. Ace video.